Hi, I'm here talking with the producer of MTV's Teen Wolf, and I just wanted to ask you, I'm totally just excited for you guys that your show has been such a success for MTV. What do you think is the sweet spot that's appealing to the MTV generation? Um, I would definitely say fast-paced uh, stories that uh, that are challenging uh, to them, that don't uh, that appeal to them in, in ways that reflect their lives back. I think. Uh, I mean, we talk a lot about millennials and what millennials want to see, but mostly I'm just interested in telling a good, fun story. So um, hopefully the, the audience sticks around and even grows. Uh, but it's, it's interesting to, to talk about uh, the MTV generation because I was the MTV generation when I was growing up, and it was such a different world back then. I know MTV isn't just music anymore. You guys have scripted, you have reality, you have everything. So what classic werewolf movies or TV shows really influence you and kind of feed into your modern take of the werewolf? Well, I'm a big fan of classic horror movies. Um, one, of, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, actually, is a comedy, Abbott and Costello with Frankenstein. But uh, I would say for, for werewolf movies, uh, definitely something like The Howling, uh, American Werewolf in London with the phenomenal effects. Um, but also what we're doing here is we're telling sort of a comic book story always found. Um, when I was uh, plotting out the first uh, the pilot with uh, my producers, um, Michael Thorne and Renee Ashvaria, we talked about it very much as being a Spider-Man story, that, uh, that Scott McCall was essentially Peter Parker. So that's kind of what we do, I think. Make it, we, we, we're telling a bit of a superhero story. It is a great show, and I'm really happy, and thank you so much for speaking with me. And I love the fact that you love Abbott and Costello. <laughs>